Okay, here's a new video dealing with this. Kind of, sort of. So on a couple of occasions, I have seen people discussing what it's safe to paint your drac with. This is the right wing drac, moldy DPP foam. Quite frankly, some of the toughest foam I've ever seen. This is a piece of the center plug. This is a common paint used to paint them. And I've tried a lot of different things on it. I have tried 3M over laminate. I've tried the econo coat stretched over top of it. It comes out quite nice. Fairly tough. Adheres very well. I'll peel a piece of it off and just show you how tough it is. And this is no 3M underneath it. It's just econo coat with a laminated iron and a sock over top of it. So, I mean, it's, it peels off. Yeah, I can force it off. But it adheres pretty good. And you get a nice finish if that's what you're looking for. I've tried laminate over top of it. I've tried laminate over 3M. I have tried laminate over top of all the different coats. Econo coat, mono coat, uh, ultra coat. I've tried them with and without 3M. Uh, and I have tried painting over laminate. And that's actually my favorite because it yields me the results that I like best. I get nice clean lines, nice finish, nice smooth, fairly scuff resistant, easy to clean up, and it's tough. But I saw a post last week where someone had talked about using this and watching and possibly having the solvents in this attack it. I've never seen any solvents attack this particular EPP foam. Uh, it's very dense, it's molded, it's just, it's tough, super, super tough. I mean, super tough. So I thought, I'm gonna get a can of this. I don't normally use it. Uh, I like the color, but this is Performix Plasti Dip, and this is the Blaze color. And apparently the concern was, if you're too close to it, you can damage it. So we're going to do a little experiment right now, and we're going to see. I do, however, want to put a cover down so it's not to make too big of a mess. Maybe. Maybe. Moment, moment. All right, we'll do it without it. I'll make a mess. Dedication, right? All right, so thoroughly mixed, and normally paint like that. I'm going to deliberately try and melt this foam and I'm as close to it as I can possibly get. I'm actually laying little stringers there. I don't know if you can see them, but that is about as close as I can get to it. Hey, Ernie. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? And there you have it. Set it down here. I'm gonna let it see what happens to that foam. Stringers all over me. It's really tough foam. Now, I did it a little earlier to see exactly what would happen. That's a, that's actually that piece of that foam cut off. I did the exact same thing, and I sprayed it. This is this is a cut side of it. This is this is the molded side that's just been sanded. Uh, but that is the cut side of it. And there is no damage to that foam's integrity whatsoever. It's still a little tacky, uh, but I did the exact same thing you just saw me do there. So as far as damaging this paint, or excuse me, damaging this foam with this paint, I think you're gonna be hard pressed. Quite frankly, I think you're gonna be hard pressed to damage this foam with any paint. So just my little two cents. And let me know what you think.